Hello to whoever may be watching this video. I am Shadowfang1355, or sometimes I just go by Manus. <clears throat> I am an avid role player, storyteller, and world builder. Currently, I am working on a text RP server that goes by the name Medicale Vita Nova. Medicale Vita Nova is a more mature reboot of a group that I and a friend had opened a few years ago when we were both children. We somehow managed to actually have quite the flourishing community, and it lasted for a pretty decent while. We had some pretty wild stories going on there. Sadly, due to school taking up my time and then work taking the place of school when I became an adult, I never got to do what I wished with the old Medicale legacy server. To make up for that, I have decided that while I'm in the process of looking for a new job and some form of income, while I am looking for a new job, I will go ahead and begin working on wrapping up the storyline of the original Medikill Legacy server. Some people who see this video either on my YouTube, Patreon, or wherever else I may post this video will probably ask, wait, what is Medikill? Medikill was a passion, passion project of me and Lazulite when we were both children. Even today, it's still a passion project of ours as we work on the new reboot called Medikill Vita Nova so that we can resurrect the remaining community that has been patiently waiting for some sort of news or continuation and they really have been waiting for quite some time for us to have time to pick things back up and I am quite astonished by how patient these people are and it really shows their investment and I love their investment. But for those wondering what Medikill Vita Nova is, Medikill takes place in a high fantasy setting in a realm called Madomne. Madomne actually means honey. We were putting together a mash of words and back translating it to make sure we didn't accidentally translate it into something else, and it ended up meaning honey, and I said, screw it, we'll keep it. But anyway, there are several continents to explore. There's plenty of secrets and dark plots you can uncover, and there's multiple gods and beasts in the lands that you can encounter. We have plenty of custom-made races and creatures. In the server roleplay, we allow our players to play pretty much anything they want to play. We encourage player creativity. We also plan to incorporate incorporate some D&D-ish like things, but we are making our own custom rule set. So we have our own dice, our own stats, our own skill sets, going to be making some classes, all of that fancy stuff. But we do allow players to make their own custom spells. But uh, the server will be remaining focused on the reboot, the Medikill Vita Nova Discord. While I am going to be working at, working in some of the legacy server's lore, because it'd be a waste to abandon all of that. The Patreon project is going to be a wrap-up of the legacy server story. Everything written in the Patreon po project is going to be canon to Medikale Vita Nova. The story will be primarily following the exiled Prince of North Province, Red Silverblood. He has a mysterious companion named Rez. He's wolfish, has ram horns, a bit weird looking. As they travel the realm of Madomne, they will be searching for something that will be potentially saving their mortal realm from doom and collapse and destruction. As the story goes on, character perspe perspectives will be jumping from character to character as adventures come to an end or as new characters are introduced. I'll be trying to get at least two or three chapters in a month 
each chapter will be a very lengthy read because when I write, I make sure there is plenty of good writing and story to be seen and read and enjoyed. <clears throat> the first chapter will be available to all to read so that they may get a tease of what's in store if they do subscribe to my Patreon. And if you do subscribe to my Patreon, if you do like the first chapter, you will be showing interest in my passion for world building, and you'll be rewarded with even more stories to come. Whenever my first set of stories for Medikill are finished, I will probably either begin writing a storyline to fit the Vita Nova setting, or I might just go ahead and write for a completely new universe. I do have something in mind for the next set of stories, actually. It'd be a semi-futuristic dystopian type setting. And it'd actually be pretty interesting if we did get that. But if I do see enough support, I may do more than just story writing. What that will be is to be decided. But anyway, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I look forward to seeing how many people are actually interested in this project, and if you are interested, I will be leaving links to my Patreon in both the comments and description, and just wherever I can happen to post those, wherever I be posting this. And, uh... I will be leaving my Discord username available for those who might wish to DM me with questions.